This is the tutorial on booking hotels. The main pieces of information that you need to do the search are location, date, number of people in the room, and some sort of hotel qualifier. The main one that you're going to use is the name of the hotel, but you could also use zip code or proximity to an airport, among other things. So you start your entry with HOT for hotel, and then you can either use the city code, such as NYC, or the airport code, like JFK or LaGuardia. You separate each field with a slash, and then you put the check-in date, dash, the checkout date, or you can also put the number of nights. Either way, it's going to give you the same results. Then you put the number of people in the room. Two is pretty much going to be your default. If you put one or two, usually it's going to give you the same rate, with a few exceptions. If you put more than two people, it's definitely going to raise the rate. I'm going to put a slash, and then I'm going to use the name qualifier, so that's N dash, and the name of the hotel. Hit enter, and it brings back all of the hotels with that name in or around the New York area. Now let's say the one that I'm looking for isn't here, and I want to keep looking. So I enter HOT display, and it brings up more results. So each hotel is going to have a name, an abbreviated address, and a hotel number. Let's say the one that I want is number 20. You enter HOD, display, and the number. So here it pulls up the full hotel details. We have the name, the address, the telephone number. This tells us that it's a three-star hotel. It tells you the name of the rate or the promo. It tells you the nightly rate. In this case, we have a rate change. So we have one rate for the night of the 24th and another rate for the 25th. Over here, you have GUAR, which stands for guarantee. It means it does not take a deposit. If it did take a deposit, it would say DPST. And over here, we have the cancellation policy. In this case, it's two days. And over here, we have the letter C, which means that this rate is commissionable. If it wasn't commissionable, it would say NC. Over here, it tells you the taxes and the approximate total for the stay. So I'm going to move down and just take a look at all the rates that we have here. And I'm going to move back up to the top. So we're going to take a look at this rate here. To pull up the full details, you enter HRD for hotel rate details, the display key, and the line number. So I'm going to move down to get a little bit more information on this room type. So here it tells me that it has a king bed, it tells me the square footage, it has Wi-Fi. Down here it says that it's a credit card guarantee. We have the cancellation policy. It says that it's commissionable. And then here it lets me know if it's possible to have an extra person or crib or roll away in the room. And if it does, it tells you what the entry would be to notify the hotel that you need one of those things. So to sell this room, the entry is 0, H for hotel, 1, which is the number of rooms that you need. Now it's important to note here, even if you needed two rooms, you could not put a 2 here. You always have to put a 1, otherwise it's not going to send proper communication to the hotel. If you did need two rooms, you would basically do your entire cell entry twice. In doing so, you would get two confirmation numbers. So we have our entry here, OH1, cross of Lorraine, and 1, which corresponds with the rate number. Then you do slash and the letter G, since this only requires a credit card guarantee. If it was a deposit, you would have to put G. DPST. But we don't have to do that in this case, so put the credit card information, which I've censored here for security purposes, the expiration date, dash, the last name of the guest. And after that, you would do slash and any sort of qualifiers. Earlier we mentioned selling a rollaway or a crib, or if you had any sort of supplemental information that you wanted to add. But this is your basic cell entry for hotels. So we hit enter and it comes back with the confirmation. Here it says HK1, which means that the room is confirmed. If it came back with UC, that would mean it was unable to confirm. We have the city that the hotel is located in. We have the dates that it's confirmed for. We have the number of nights. Here we have the hotel number, which you could click on if you wanted to get full details about the address and that kind of thing. Here we have the full name of the hotel, the rate code, the number of guests you've confirmed it for, the nightly rate, here it says that it's commissionable, we have the credit card details, the last name, the cancellation policy, and of course the confirmation number. One thing to keep in mind, if you confirm the room and you don't get a confirmation number, or if it comes back as UC, unable to confirm, 
the room is no longer available. If you do get a proper confirmation, until you hit end and retrieve, it's not officially confirmed.